happy hey as well as the organizers to see that we are uh, able to connect and uh, make this about all of us hey eh? so uh, I want to thank each and every one of you in the crowd that come out and uh, partook in that event so thank you we're going to do an inner tribal song we're gonna do the full song on this one to end this set and then we'll be back I think at 4:15, according to the program so uh, feel free to come out and dance again this is a, a song where it's got some uh, high energy to it and then I'm gonna let Ray uh, speak as well so uh, feel free to come out and dance with the dancers uh, so this dance that we're gonna uh, do to here do uh, right now uh, all the different tribes used to come together and they would celebrate and uh, once they come to celebrate we would uh, we would invite them all out uh, to dance, whatever style dance they are, whatever the tribe they came, we would welcome them as our brothers, our sisters, our aunties, our uncles, grandma and grandpa. We are all relatives. We'd come out and we would join together and we would dance and we would do this intertribal. So no matter what tribe, what nationality, what heritage, what gender you affiliate yourself with, the, the drum here and the dancers here I want you to come out and help them celebrate this life, this journey of life. Come out and dance if you don't know how to dance. Uh, it's a very simple dance that, that we do. And uh, come out and dance. And uh, one, thing, uh, one thing I was thinking about before uh, when uh, the drum, they were asking me to come up here and explain some of the things that are going on here today, some of the dances, where they come from, the different styles of dance how the Creator gave these uh, dances to the Anishinaabe people. So, uh, as the story goes, long time ago in Anishinaabe, the Creator, in all his wisdom, he decided that he was going to create the universe. He was going to create all the stars. He was going to create all the planets. He was going to create the moon. He was going to create the sun. And especially he was going to create this beautiful Mother Earth that we live on here today. And so he sent his swirling thoughts out into the universe and he created all of these things. So one day he was sitting in his lodge in the sky and he decided that he was going to create man. And when I say man, I mean man and woman, man and woman. The Anishinaabe people believe we are a duality. We have a man and we have a woman inside of us. And so he was going to create man, if I could say that in a generic way, he was going to create man. So he already had created this beautiful Mother Earth. And all the beautiful, wonderful things that we see here today. He created the animals. He created the fish. He created the birds. He created this grass that we stand upon today. All the little creatures that are running through this grass, the bugs and the insects, he created all of that. He created the rivers, this river over here. He created the mountains. He created the streams and the lakes. And then so one day he decided that he was going to create something in his image. So he decided that he was going to create man. So he came out of his lodge and he looked down and he looked down upon this Mother Earth and he reached down with his hands inside of this Mother Earth and he picked up out of, this, out of the Mother Earth all the material that he would need to create Anishinaabe and he began molding Anishinaabe in his hands, in his image and as he was molding Anishinaabe all of the things that he didn't need to create Anishinaabe fell to his fingertips and fell back to this earth. And they were the things that the, that the Anishinaabe people would need, these pears, this fruit. All of these things that he would need on his journey and of his life, he, the Creator sent these back to earth. Because the Creator, he loved Anishinaabe so, so much that he never wanted him to want anything in his lifetime. He never wanted them to want 
anything in his lifetime. That everything that Anishinaabe needed on his journey in this physical world was put here for him by the Creator. And as the Creator began to mold Anishinaabe and got done, he decided to lower Anishinaabe to this earth. First man lowered from above, placed on this earth. And as the Creator was lowering Anishinaabe to this land, just before Anishinaabe's feet touched the ground, he gave a little kick with his feet. And that is said to be the first dance that the Anishinaabe ever performed in his life. And since then, the Anishinaabe people have used dance in all of their celebrations throughout time, since the beginning of time to this day in their life, from birth to death, every celebration in between Anishinaabe has used dance. My teacher is one of my teachers over there in Wisconsin where I come from. His name is Billy Daniels. Very respected Potawatomi, Ishkode Potawatomi man, who's gone on to the spirit world this time. And Billy used to tell me all the time, or he used to tell the people, when he was asked to do these things by this drum here, by the people, he was asked, tell me the story of the jingle dress dance. Tell me the story of the traditional man's dance. Tell me the story of the fancy shawl dance. Tell me all of these different short stories, how the creator created the universe, created the world, created in the Shnabe. Billy Daniels used to say, I want you to listen. Before I tell my story, I want each and every one of you to listen to what I'm saying. He would say, because one day, I no longer gonna be able to stand up here and tell you these stories. So you listen, because one of these days, it's gonna be you standing up here telling these stories. So this inner tribal that we're gonna do today is one of the stories that he would tell about how he would invite all the tribes out in a, in a, uh, in a moment of uh, togetherness, in a moment of loving, brotherhood, sisterhood. Come out, enjoy life, miigwech.
just group them, okay. you know, that would be fun. All right. And what time do we have? Okay, we got eight minutes for a sound check. Um, well, I got to move this.